First, I would like to say rest in peace to the phenomenal actor Chadwick Boseman, who recently and shockingly passed away of colon cancer um, at the age of 43. I'm going to tell you guys, I was shocked because I am 43 years old and to just look at one of I would I would say your family, you know, your chocolate brother or even a sister to transition like that at your current age is mind blowing. Um Chadwick is known for his most popular um character which he plays in um Black Panther. I went to see Black Panther and he is a phenomenal actor and um it's just real sad it's it's sad to see somebody of that age that still still has a whole lot of life and, and, and just things that you know a, a bit a long future ahead you know you don't think somebody at 43 is going to transition but let me tell you guys, this year has been a really um, just mind-boggling, shocking. Like, I just feel like it's it's never going to end, and I want it to end in with the sad news. And this was really, this, is, this was sad. This is really, like, sad. Um, I understand that... Chadwick wanted to keep his diagnosis private, which is understandable because a lot of times people, when they find out, especially in the industry, they find out that you are you have some type of sickness or illness. Um, they kind of use it to your advantage when promoting different things and um, just trying to get even more sympathy that we are supposed to be um, caring and have empathy for each other but sometimes people can use it to milk I would say roles and, and, and situations so I do understand why Chadwick decided to keep it private because sometimes um you don't want the whole world even if you're a celebrity even if you're an influencer you don't want everybody to know or just experience everything you're experiencing in your life. You want to sometimes keep certain things private. So I get that. Um, but I am definitely, um, I'm shocked. I'm sad, but I'm also shocked. And um, he was diagnosed with colon cancer, I think at the age of 39. And now, you know, a lot of people in the health uh, care community, they're saying like, you know what? Maybe they should start screening um, people even younger. Usually, people get colon cancer. It's a percentage. They get it around, they said, f past 50 to 60, mainly in their 60s. But they said they're seeing an increase of younger people getting it. And I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm going to give you guys some information as well, probably in future videos, that you have to also at any age like i would say after 18 you really need to focus on cleansing your um colon your liver and your um your cells people don't really talk about that a lot of people just do focus on colon but they never focus on all three um priorities so we have to really get into um, taking better care of ourselves. I'm going to tell you something. I've been guilty of eating crazy. And I'm definitely at a point in my life that I'm transitioning. It's, it's hard, but slowly to um, just take better care of myself. And um, I want to tell you guys that, whoever watched this video, that um, if anything, if you you watch this and you walk away please take my advice please start taking better care of yourself and when i say that i say mentally spiritually it's like a mixture um but also health wise 
I know a lot of people are saying meats are not really good for your body or whatever. I think the problem is is that we people that do eat meat, we overindulge in it and love it and especially if it's cooked well and everything. But now, you know, we're in 2020 and, and, and times and things have changed and you start getting information, especially from the internet about how food is digested as well as different types of meat all the way to uh, just, just everything you can think of is not good, you know? And with beef, you know, if you eat beef, it takes forever to digest and stuff and people are not drinking a lot of water not eating a lot of veggies so you want to be mindful in this day and age that we got to do better what i've realized lately is that i like a lot of dairy you know and i and, and it's crazy because i love cheese i love yogurt i love milk but i'm realizing and when you research and, and, and you have people around you that who um, don't eat dairy or that much or whatever the case is, you find out like, yo, this stuff is not good for me. So I did say this year I wanted to um, quit milk. I only eat milk with cereal and then, you know, the bad cereal at that. So I want to be better with my health and i also want to let you guys know that please try your best ability i know it's hard but try to be um improve your health because your body this body for right now is all you have until you transition you know you still have your spirit but your body is all you have and you have to take care of it so um what a lot of people don't know is that they need to clean, they need to do a cleansing, like an organic cleansing. And um, when I plan on doing mine, but I'm going to do my cleansing in October, that is the plan. But I will let you guys know, and I've talked to some reputable uh, people in regards to the cleanse. And But we have to really cleanse out our body and I'm gonna tell you something it was a um a minister that I was talking to shout out to his name is Ron Diaz phenomenal when I say he's phenomenal he focuses also on helping um people get healthy like rever reverse of their diabetes um, just different things is going on in life health wise, high blood pressure. And he talked, he, he gave me like an example. He said, listen, you know, when you go take your car to get it, um, the oil change and you also need your filter, your, your cabin filter change and all of that. That's the same thing you need for your liver, your cells and your colon. And that does make sense. So guys, um, 43 is too young. It's just too young to um, leave this earth, you know. But my condolences to his wife, his family, his close friends, um, everybody that knew him. I didn't, I, I didn't get the opportunity to meet him. But I've seen him on screens, and from my understanding is that he did probably about seven movies, you know, in the midst of he, him being uh, diagnosed with colon cancer. And you have to salute to that. That is his, that's his worth ethics you saluting to, and just him as a person, and to keep that private, that is really a lot. But um, he has made a... a a huge impact and mark on society that we can never forget him so rest in power uh chadwick bozeman and um we gotta take care of ourselves and i just want to let you guys know that on this wonderful sunday evening and like i said i hope you guys are doing well and if you don't take anything from this video please try to be healthy
try to be healthy because I feel like the food that, you know, people are giving us or serving us majority of the time is not healthy and it's like it's killing us. And uh, we have to take notice and wake up and pay attention to what we are doing. We are not perfect, but listen, take it one day at a time, okay? Um, nevertheless, I hope you like this video, even though it is a sad situation. Um, comments, let me know your thoughts. And subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, it's definitely free. I appreciate all who have subscribed. Thank you for the comments. I will be doing more videos, more reviews. So if you have any request, requests, let me know. And um, I see you on the next video. Peace, and this is Abba Ani.